Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello, students. We are teachers, Aaron T. Bala and J. Kubo D. K. Salomon. We are from Rising Academies. This is a Rising Youth Movement Partnership for the Ministry of Education, COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Our lesson today is Language Arts for students of grade 3 and 4. And the topic today is natural resources. Why we listen to these COVID-19 health tips? Please take out your pencil, pens, and get your copy book and get ready for today's lesson. Again, welcome and let's learn. Corona. Coronavirus spreads via droplets. When the person cough or sneeze, the droplets land on surfaces and are picked up on the hands of others and spread further. People catch the virus when they touch their infected hands to their mouth, nose or eyes. It follows that the single most important thing you can do to protect yourself is keep your hands clean by washing them frequently with soap and water all oh, hand sanitizer now it is time for our lesson today is our first reading section together i'm feeling excited because i know we will do a lot of fun activities today how are you feeling today we have five fun activities to do number one we will do an activity called sentence warm-up number two we will do an activity called braiding blending Number three, we'll do an activity called listen and write. Number four, we'll do an activity called sentence scramble. The last, we will do an activity called read aloud. Let's have a great class together today. Thank you, Kribo. That was so great. At least informing our students about all of the activities we're going to do today. Now, students, it's time for sentence warm up. Today, our practice sentence is Liberia has many natural resources. You will listen while I say the sentence two times. Then I will tell you when it is time for us to read the sentences together. Are you ready? Listen, students. Liberia has many natural resources. I will read that sentence again. Liberia has many natural resources. Great. Okay. When I say your turn, then we can all say it together. Are you ready? Your turn. Liberia, Liberia has many natural resources. Great job. Let's say that sentence again. Liberia, Liberia has many natural resources. That was great. Now, when I hear the sentence, Liberia has many natural resources, I think about all the things that come from nature, like forest, water, minerals, and crops. It is different from things that are made like clothes or building. These things are made by men. Now, I want to think about how you will do a drama for the sentence, Liberia has many natural resources. You will pretend to be a tree or a mountain, then I will give you five seconds to think about how you would like to do your drama. To show the sentence, Liberia has many natural resources. You got two more seconds.
one, thank you. I hope you have your drama ready right now. Now, I will say the sentence and you will do your drama. Are you ready? Liberia has many natural resources. Great job. I see some people making a tree. I also see mountains. Wow. I see rivers flowing. That was so great. Now the students here, they did a wonderful drama for me. I wish I could see you. I could see your beautiful dramas at home too. I am sure you did a great job. Thank you so much. Now I have some questions for you. When I ask the questions, if the answer is yes, I want you to stand up. And if the answer is no, I want you to sit down. You get that? Are you ready? Great. Now listen to the first question. Is music a natural resource? Wow, I see you making those great moves. Thank you. The next question, is rubber a natural resource? Yes, indeed. Great. The next question is, is a truck a natural resource? Okay, listen to the last question. Is iron ore a natural resource? Thank you for the great answers. Oh, I hope I could see you at home answering these questions. Thank you so much. Now, students, let's say the word resources. Resources. Good. You will listen while I clap the syllables two times in the word resources. Then I will tell you when it is your turn to try. Listen, resources. Again, listen, resources. Now, I want you to get ready. Your turn. Resources. Again, resources. Great job. How many syllables in the word resources? Three. Great. Yes. There are three syllables in the word resources. And resources is one word with three syllables. Excellent job in our sentence homework. Thank you. Okay, students, before we go to our next activity, let's hear a short message from the Ministry of Education. As part of the Ministry of Education continuation of learning in the wake of COVID-19, the Ministry and partners have introduced teaching by radio on the following radio stations, ELBC, Truth FM, Fabric FM, Echoas Radio, ELWA, Cool FM, Teach FM, including various community radio stations. This is targeting students from early childhood education to 12th grade. The teaching will focus on four core subjects, language arts, mathematics, science, and social studies for students from grade 1 to 6, while students from grade 9 to 12 will have lessons mathematics, language arts, general science, and biology. Meanwhile, the ministry is encouraging students and parents to begin listening and participating in the various lessons on these radio stations over the next six weeks. We must arise to keep learning while at home. A message from the Ministry of Education and Partners. Now it is time for breathing blending. Are you ready? Yes, Great. teacher. I know you are ready. So at the beginning of a word, sometimes we have one sound and sometimes we have two sounds. Today we will practice some words that have two sounds at the beginning of the word. I want you to listen carefully. Our first word, cur, ah, b, 
crab. At the beginning, we have two sounds. We have the k and we have the r that makes cr. Listen, cr, a, b, crab. Listen again, cr, a, b, crab. Now, you can try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. Cr, a, b, crab. Again, cr, a, b, crab. Great job. Now let's look at our next word. I want you to listen. Cr, a, d, broad. At the beginning, we have two sounds. We have the p and r that makes r. Listen, r, a, d, proud. Listen, r, a, d, proud. Now we can try this together. Get ready. Your turn. R, a, d, proud. Again. Per, a, d, proud. Great job. And look at our third word. I want you to listen. Bur, a, g, brad. In bur, we have two sounds. We have the b and bur that makes bur. Listen. Bur, a, g, brad. Listen. Bur. Ah, good, brat. Now I want you to try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. B, A, G, brat. Again. B, A, G, brat. Great job. Now look at our fourth word. Listen. Fur, A, G, frog. In fur, we have two sounds. We have f and r that makes fur. Listen, fur, a, g, frog. Listen, fur, a, g, frog. Now I want you to try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. Fur, a, g, frog. Again, fur, a, g, frog. Great job. Let's look at our fifth word on the list. I want you to listen. Cur, a, ah, crack. In cur, we have two sounds. We have the k and r that makes cur. Listen, cur, a, ah, crack. Listen, cur, a, ah, crack. Now I want you to try this with me. Are you ready? Your turn. Cr, a, k, crack. Again. Cr, a, k, crack. Great job. Now look at our last word on this list. I want you to listen. We have tur, a, trip. In tur, we have two sounds. We have and r that makes it tur. Listen, tur, a, trip. Tur, a, trip. Now I want you to try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. Tur, a, trip. Again. Tur, a, trip. Excellent work. Thank you so much for that activity. We now move on to teacher Kubo to lead us through that activity. So now we move to listen and write. Are you ready to listen and write? Please take out your notebook and pencil and get ready to listen carefully. I will say a word and I want you to write it. Number one, write the word crab. Number two, write the word prod. P, 
prod. Number three. Write the word brag. Brag. Write the word frog. Frog. Write the word crack. Crack. Number six. Write the word trip. Trip. Good job. Now we are going to check and see if you wrote your words correctly. Ready? Number one. Crap has the sound curl. Ah, b. And it is spelled C R A B. Number two. Prod has the sound per o d, and it is spelled P R O D. Number three, brag has the sound b a g, and it is spelled B R A G. Four, frog has a sound for a g, and it is spelled F R O G. Number five, quack has the sound k a k, and it is spelled C R A C. K. Crack. Number six. Trip has a sound to a p, and it is spelled T R I P. Great job. That was amazing. So now we're going to. Turn over to teacher Aaron Bala, who's going to take over sentence scramble. Oh, wow, students, I want to be proud of Kuro for taking you through listening right. And I know you did an amazing work. Okay, now let's look at sentence scramble. Are you ready for sentence scramble, students? Yes, teacher. Great, I know you are all ready. So I will give you some words, and you will have to rearrange the words into a sentence that makes sense. You get that? I will give you some words and you will have to rearrange them into a sentence that makes sense. Are you ready? Yes. I know you have your pen with you and you have your, your copy book. I want you to write these words. Listen. Run. The. Frog. To the rock and crab. Thank you. Now I want you to take one minute to rearrange those words into a sentence that makes sense. I will give you one minute to do that work. Wow, you are doing a great job. I hope I was around to see how beautifully you are arranging the words to make sentences. Wow, I know you can do it. You have 30 more seconds. Great. We have 10 more seconds left. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Thank you. Okay, let's try to make a sentence together. I want you to listen. I'm going to look for the verb. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The verb is the action word. Now you can find the action word. I know you can do that. Great. Yes, the action verb is run. That is the past tense of the verb run. What are the words that could be the subject? The things that run. Yes, the frog and the crab. They are both things that can run. So both of them can be the subject of the sentence. So my sentence will start like this. The crab and frog run. The crab and frog run. The other words will tell us where the crab and frog run. So the final sentence will say, the crab and frog run to the rock. The crab and frog run to the rock. Let's read it together. Get the, ready. Your turn. The, the crab, crab and frog, frog ran to, to the rock. rock. Again. The, the crab, crab and frog ran to the rock. Great job. Now class, I want you to remember when we write a sentence, the first word should start with a capital letter. And the end of this sentence should have a punctuation mark. This is a statement, so please put a period at the end of your sentence. Make sure to do that. Thank you so much for this exercise. That was our sentence scramble exercise. We we'll now move on to teacher Kubo that will we are nice story today. Thank you, Mr. Bada. That was awesome. So, class, we're going to be doing We Allow. Now, I'm going to read you a passage about natural resources in Liberia. This text comes from the Accelerated Quality Education Level 2 Teacher Guides and learner workbook series by USAID in the Ministry of Education. It will talk about one specific example of a natural resource. Listen carefully and we will talk about it later. Let's begin. Liberia is rich. It has a lot of natural resources. Natural resources are materials and minerals that are found in nature. They are not made by human beings. It is important for every Liberian to know about Liberia's riches. Its natural resources. Among Liberians, many natural resources are our rainforests. Rainforest. Did you know that Liberia has one of the largest rainforests in the world? 60% of our land in Liberia is forest. 40% of all the rainforest land in West Africa is in Liberia. A rainforest is a forest that is green all year. It is called a rainforest because of the high amount of rainfall it gets in a year. The rainforest gave us many riches. About 200 different kinds of trees grow in Liberia. Certain medicines are made from the plants that grow in the rainforest. Many special animals also live in there such as elephants, chimpanzee, the pygmy hippopotamus, antelopes, and many birds. Another source of money from the rainforest could be tourism. 
Tourists are people from other countries who come to see the forest. Liberia may have more and more tourists in the coming years. Which country has one of the largest rainforests in the world? Liberia. Liberia. Why do we call the forest in Liberia rainforest? Yeah, call called rainforest because of the high amount of rain for it gets in a year. Good. What things can we find in the rainforest? We can find special animals. We can also find plants that are used for medicine. Great job. Now, I have an assignment for you. I want you to listen to these two questions and write your answers in your notebook. Why do we call the forest in Liberia rainforest? They are called rainforest because of the high amount of rainfall it gets in a year. What things can we find in the rainforest? We can find special animals. We can also find plants that are used for medicine. Now, I have an assignment for you. I want you to listen to these two questions and write your answers in your notebooks. We will discuss your answer again in our next lesson. Listen to the question. What are the reasons we should cut down the rainforest in Liberia? Question number two. What are the reasons we should not cut down the rainforest in Liberia? I will repeat the questions again. Number one. What are the reasons we should cut down the rainforest in Liberia? Number two, what are the reasons we should not cut down the rainforest in Liberia? Thank you very much for writing down your questions. Remember to complete this assignment before the next lesson. Okay, students. Let's recap what we have learned today. We practice the sentence, Liberia has many natural resources. We talk about the rainforest, we talk about water, minerals, and crops. We practice blending sounds to read and write the words, crab, broad, brag, frog, crack, and trip. We also practice arranging words to write a sentence. Lastly, we read and we discussed the passage about natural resources in Liberia. Now, boys and girls, if you have any question on today's lesson, you can kindly send them through this number zero five. Five, five, six, seven, zero, eight, three, three. I will read that number again. Take your pen and paper and write the number. Zero, five, 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 six, seven, zero, eight, three, three. If you have any questions on today's lesson, send them through this number. But before we leave you today, now I want to ask Teacher Kuro, can you tell students why they are not in school and why school is closed now? Yes, Mr. Bala. Right now, all over the world, there is a sickness catching many people 
call the corona virus just like doing ebola time we need to protect ourselves this is why we are in school right now wow now how do we catch this coronavirus that's a great question well the sickness can spread from person to person when you get too close to them and they cough or sneeze near you if someone forgets to wash the chains off their hands with soap and water and then shake your hand they gave you the sickness hmm. right now the government wants to protect you so they told us all to stay home for a little while by staying home we are being heroes in the fight against corona thank you so much Kubo, for telling my students how we can catch this sickness but one more thing i want to ask you how do we prevent this sickness like the important one say i want my students to know when we wash our hands with soap and water we can help protect ourselves from getting all type of illnesses make sure to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds wow thank you so much teacher kubo for that helpful reminder awesome guys that is the end of our class for today we are so happy you were here with us we hope to talk to you again soon goodbye from me mr aaron bala and goodbye from me jay kubo d k solomon Amen. Amen.